Hey guys, what is up? My name is Brad. I am the budding watch enthusiast and I'm here with you once again on watch with us. So we're reviewing not one, but two watches today. EMG watches was kind enough to send in two review samples to the channel. So today we're taking a look at the EMG horizon chronograph and the EMG HKED Nemo dive watch. Now you guys might have already seen the horizon here on watch with us. Ricardo uh, took a look at this watch on his most recent episode of time shot, which you guys should go check out if you have not done so yet, but then he sent the watches over to me. I've gotten to spend a couple days with them so far. So without further ado, let's take a look at these two watches from EMG. So first we're going to take a look here at the EMG horizon chronograph. Now I'm always a sucker for a great vintage chronograph design. Of course, the EMG Horizon does borrow heavily uh, from the design cues put forward by the Hoyer Monaco. So you get this really comfortable square uh, 38 millimeter by 38 millimeter case, which of course being uh, as it is square, it's gonna wear a little bit larger than 38 millimeters normally would. Of course, you see these beautiful polished sides that you have on the case, and that's contrasted with the brush finish that you have around the bezel uh, and of course on the back of the watch as well. If you're gonna do a, a vintage inspired chronograph, you often see uh, the stamped uh, auto inspired design case backs. And of course, complementing the period appropriate style of this watch is going to be this, uh, this leather rally strap that's included with it with a little bit of accent stitching uh, up where it meets the watch. The horizon that I hold in my hands here is the reverse panda variant of this watch. This watch does come in five different colorways that you can check out on the EMG website. I really do enjoy the layout of this watch. It's very no frills, very simple. The steel framed hour markers are a very clean look for the watch and having the shortened markers at the nine and three o'clock positions make orientation very easy in low light. I'm also a big fan of the bright white uh, chronograph seconds hand that you see going around that offers a good deal of contrast from the regular hour and minute hands on the dial. The white subdials are very clean, very legible, and I really do dig the font that's on them. Though, unfortunately, with the VK64 movement inside of the watch, you do have a fairly useless 24 hour uh, time telling subdial on the right side there. Might have been nice to even see like a running seconds hand for the main time telling with that dial, if possible. The matte black subdial is not my preferred variant for this watch, but it is very sharp looking. And I do really like the four accent screws that you have on the face of the dial as well. The 38 by 38 millimeter square dial is, again, it's perfectly proportioned. Even on my larger eight inch wrist, uh, it fits fantastically. And because the lugs only add about four millimeters of length to the watch on each side, uh, even if you do have a smaller wrist, I think the EMG Horizon uh, is gonna fit it well no matter what. Curved sapphire crystal that sits on top of the watch is also uh, a visual treat to look at. And despite the steep curvature of the crystal, it doesn't add a whole lot of height to the watch. The whole package only comes in at 11 millimeters. And of course the watch is powered by the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movements, one of my favorite movements. The reason I love Mecha Quartz so much is you're gonna get that smooth sweep, you're gonna get that mechanical feel with the chronograph portion of the watch as you see that seconds hand gliding around the dial, but you're also gonna get the reliability, the accuracy, and the low maintenance convenience that a quartz watch provides you. All in all, at $375, I think the EMG Horizon is a really compelling package, especially if you're a big fan of that Monaco style of chronograph. Not only are you getting a chronograph that has a really reliable and affordable movement inside of it, but you're getting a watch that, in my opinion, also punches far above its weight, uh, just in terms of the fit and finish that it provides. But now we move on to the Nemo Diver, and this is a collaboration with EMG Watches and HKED, uh, a form user from Watch You Seek, who's now a part of EMG. You guys are familiar with my channel, you know that I am a sucker uh, for a vintage inspired diver. Uh, and the Nemo, I'm, I'm really taken with it, I gotta say. And I gotta be honest, this one, when I first opened up, when I first unboxed it, uh, it really didn't, it didn't really do anything for me when I first got it. I thought the way the bezel laid out was a little peculiar. Uh, the way the, the box crystal sits even made the dial look out of alignment. Like it took, it actually took a few minutes for my eyes to kind of get used to it. Uh, but in spending a few days with this watch and in wearing this watch frequently, I gotta tell you, it's really grown on me. 
For me, it starts with the size of this watch. It's probably the perfect sized dive watch in my opinion. It's 40 millimeters wide. It's 47 millimeters to lug to lug. It's a little tall at 13 and a half millimeters. Uh, might have liked to see a little bit of height shaved off of that. But I would imagine that for most wrists, whether you have larger wrist or smaller wrist, I think the Nemo is going to work beautifully. My favorite feature of this watch undoubtedly is going to be this matte ceramic bezel that you see here. At first I was a little put off that they did have the numerals for the, at the five minute mark, which is something that you don't typically see, at least not all the way around a bezel. You might see it for the first 15 minutes, but it's not usually something that carries all the way around. But I got to say, like I said, I've just, I've just found it charming. Uh, and, and again, very unique looking. I don't know too many other bezels that look quite like this one does, and it helps it stand out in a crowded field. Now, I will say that the only big downside with the bezel is it's really tight. I mean, it's good in the sense that it's not going to move, uh, but it's not the easiest bezel to turn. It does require a pretty fair amount of effort uh, to glide the 120-click unidirectional bezel around. Again, you have a very nice contrast and finish here with polished sides and brushed tops and bottoms. You also get a beautifully stamped case back to give the watch some visual flair. The dial is also incredibly visually appealing to me and it's subtle in the way it pops. Of course, you see the applied HCAD logo uh, at the top of the watch with the Nemo branding down below. The handset is awesome. The seconds hand has a beautiful little pop of red just to add some color to the dial. And the handset, it, you don't see it when you first look at the watch, but when you look a little deeper, it does have this little, uh, this little, it looks like a groove almost uh, that runs down the center of the hands that are painted black, just again to offer a very subtle uh, little bit of visual pleasure on the watch. Now I really enjoy the white chapter ring that's with the red minute markers that runs along the outside of the watch that does have our numerals running along the outside as well, but I think the biggest visual miss on the watch is that that chapter ring does not pair well with the box sapphire crystal that the Nemo has. And I love the crystal. I think it's a very attractive watch and again, it matches the style of what they're going for. But because of where uh, the, the, the crystal steps up, because of how tall it is and because of that kind of distortion that it provides, it makes it really difficult to read the chapter ring like you can pretty much only see the chapter ring when you're viewing the watch at an angle uh, that you see here i love the beads of rice style bracelet that comes on a watch i think it's a style that especially on these vintage inspired pieces uh you don't see enough out there everyone wants to use the oyster style uh, of bracelet nowadays the bracelet does also come with solid end links however uh those of us that are sticklers about that will note that the end links don't quite match up uh, to the dimensions of the case. You can definitely see a little bit where the lugs stick out past the point of the end link. It doesn't bother me, but I know that there's a few of you watching out there that I'm sure it would bother. But again, just look at how awesome this watch looks, even on my larger eight inch wrist. Just again, a fantastic size. I can't imagine a wrist size out there where the EMG Nemo is gonna look overbearing. I think they nailed it with the proportions for this watch. I'm really smitten with this uh, EMG Nemo. It's $450, it comes in four different colorways. Uh, for my money, the dark green dial with the black bezel would be the way that I would go if I were purchasing this watch. Even despite the, the small flaws that I pointed out, most notably with the chapter ring, I don't know, there's just something about this dial, something about the, the aesthetic of this watch that just really, really speaks to me and really jives with me. It's a great vintage inspired diver, certainly worth a look from an up and coming independent watch company that's really starting to hit their stride, I think. So guys, that is it for my review of these two fantastic watches from EMG. Uh, thank you very much to EMG for letting these in to watch with us so that we could review them. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, hit the thumb down below and feel free to share this on forums or on social media if you think somebody else might find it useful as well. Please click the red subscribe button and subscribe to the Watch With Us channel down below. And of course, if you've not been over to my channel, head on over to the Budding Watch Enthusiast, which you can access by clicking the link down in the description below. Thank you guys again very much for watching this, and I will see you all the next time here on Watch With Us. Thank you.